Okay. Is, is that what it's called? Or? Yeah. What albums have you been listening to lately? Like that mm. you're digging right at the moment, or that's kind of been playing in the van in the van on yeah. tour. Yeah. Um, yesterday we were listening to our friend Uni Ika I. That's another Brooklyn artist. We were really digging that. And then we put on <laughs> Lewis Cole. I, I don't know if you yeah. guys don't yeah, you Yeah, got we it. actually okay. have a track <laughs> on here. Like we have yeah. I think it's like when you're ugly or yes, yes. that just came yeah. out. And that whole album is freaking mind blowing. Amazing. <laughs> yes, yeah. I totally agree. Uh, it, yeah, that's like a similar. I feel like the, those worlds like overlap with like that with the Thundercat, but then also like the Ryan Power style, like super yeah. harmonically complex craziness. And so that's really inspiring and just virtuosic. And I love Genevieve <laughs> Artadi's music too. Oh um, yes. And Noah and that whole world. <laughs> and then. Um, what else? Oh, man. Angie is the best DJ of <laughs> our band, and she just plays amazing music all the time that I don't always know what it is. But, oh, yeah, we listen to Tower of Power. Oh, no, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Sorry. I oh, nice. Those two. There you go. And then she always puts on BBO, and I'm always like, what is this? And she's always like, BBO. I'm like, oh, that's the thing I, I never know the name of, and it's always really good. Yeah. I have those moments all the time too. Like that yeah. one track and you're like, hold on, what was that? Yeah. Um, also, I like, to, I like to ask, I mean, why does music matter to you? Hmm. Well, I always think of that, well, gosh, this is going to get dark, but <laughs> that scene in the Titanic where like the musicians are playing and the ship is going down. Oh my gosh, yes. Like the waves are crashing and they're just like playing. <laughs> I don't know. All right, that was a metaphorical answer. But not, I don't want to <laughs> say that like our society is going down. And I think that music has a role in, in like just kind of igniting people's own inner belief in themselves. Because I, I feel like what I see in society right now, like some people might be like, it's going down. But I feel like I see a really rampant lack of confidence in ourselves. Like we're everyone is suffering from like this really high level insecurity and, and deep fear. And I think that a lot of what we see with like this deep divide, it, um, like politically and socially where everyone's like finger pointing the other side has so much just to do with, with somehow be buying into our fears. And I would, it might be a lofty goal, but I definitely think that music and art have the ability to like pull us away from that and start to suddenly live in like this timeless moment. Even if it's just like for a blink, I think that those moments can really, yeah, just ignite like this brief understanding in something other than polarity or divide or, uh, or yeah, just a life where you're always trying to like avoid death or like yeah. avoid uh, your something um, scary. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully. That was a complete sentence. <laughs> no, I, I totally get where you're getting at with that. That's that's awesome. I just always am curious about like what other musicians, like why do they do what they do and why does it matter to them? And that's awesome. Yeah. Um, one more, and I know Nils will kill me if I don't ask this question. So we saw on your Wikipedia page for Rubble Bucket and it described you guys, I want to say like something like Americana, like <laughs> funk or something like oh that. Like how would you guys feel about that being your description of your band. We were like, who even would write that? Yeah, wow, Wikipedia. Who? <laughs> <laughs> what a, it's like the Wild West out there. Um, yeah, well, I don't know. I don't even know, like, I'm telling, in some ways I'm not like a genre con connoisseur. Yeah. Or I don't even understand really these days, like, what is genre. Um, but I'm down to just be, like, I I'm down to be surprised yeah. about... <laughs> what how people see us because I think also it's so subjective like somebody can have like this deep understanding of Americana and be like oh yeah that, we totally fit into that but somebody else can ha be like in this other scene and see it as a whole different thing yeah and like people always say that we're ska and I'm like well, I mean if we were ska we would be ska like we would yeah. go out there and like be a ska band and we're definitely yeah. not that 
but they hear the trumpet and the horns and they're just like, oh yeah, you know, it's I've heard of that. Yeah. Um, so I guess I've never really sweated the genre question too much because we're totally influenced by it. So just much. It's like millions of sounds. And, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Well, thank you so much for sitting down with us and talking with us. And once again, guys, go see Cowbell's show tonight at Motor. They play yeah. at 11. But also, there's some awesome bands playing before then. So head on over probably about 9 o'clock, I would say. To yeah. Go check it out. Yeah. There's a local woman artist who's playing before yes. us. Maria. I can't remember her name. Yeah. What was name. it? Maria Corelli. Corelli. Yes. Yes. There we go. And I'm really excited to see that. Yeah. That's going to be awesome. Well, thank you so much once again. And you have an awesome show. Thank you so much. Thanks.